During COVID, I went through like three years of just like social isolation. I was convinced it was going to take years to get back to work. After being unemployed for so long, you just sort of have a lot of self-doubt kind of stopped believing that I could even do any roles that I had experience in. It was Michael who uh, helped me see that uh, that's not the case and that they would be understanding uh, and supportive of that and to focus on positives uh, rather than the negatives that I'd placed on myself. Michael was brilliant. He just pretty much was just always there for if I had like a doubt or a worry and he just made me feel like I had the ability to actually go for it and without him I probably would never have even applied for the job to begin with. And it, it just really helped me focus on um, what an employer looks for for an employee rather than focusing on disability or focusing on the long break that I had from employment. It's been so long since I'd um, hunted for a job it didn't used to all be online, so I wasn't used to that. It helped me find search engines uh, for jobs. I was looking, first of all, at job titles. I was looking at sec different sectors that I might be interested in. And he said, no, focus on your skills, put all your skills in there and see what jobs come up. I was ready for the interview and I felt confident and I, I focused on all the positives, uh, none of the negatives and didn't have, apologise for being out of work for so long, which is uh, how I was at first before I spoke to Michael. When I messaged him, he was there. It, like, I messaged him, he replied. I had a problem, he had a fix. He was just, it was just so dependable, he was just always there when I needed him. First day in work, I was really, really stressed about it. I was just, just, you know, that first day nerves, you know, just worried about everything going wrong, really. And I nattered his ear off, I was on him all day. Every message of worry was, it's okay. Every call was, it's fine. He was just there. It made me realise I never had given up on returning to work. I was just, you know, it was just to one side uh, while I got my whole sorted out, really. From a capital perspective, we want to foster a diverse and inclusive environment. It's really important to us, and we ask these questions on our annual surveys, we want to make sure that everybody feels safe coming into the workplace. We want to ensure that it is a diverse and inclusive workplace, and it's somewhere where everybody feels as if they belong. Matthew coming on board and the fact that he's had such a great positive experience coming on board is just such a great example of what we actually can do and how we can make a difference to other people's lives and how um, you know, doing so also benefits us as an organisation. It's really, it's just given me a lot of confidence. Like now I know like in the role I'm in, I'm actually doing really well at it and I'm overachieving. And it's just really nice to know that like, I'm actually able to do the job that I doubt it I could do for so long. Like six months ago, I've never seen myself here. And now I'm here with, and I genuinely don't think I would have been able to do it at all without Michael. Michael's really helped me with regards to actually coming back into the workplace as well. He uh, convinced me that asking an employer for help um, when you're in, back in a workplace shouldn't be a daunting thing. People shouldn't feel embarrassed or feel that they're going to be a hindrance asking questions to an employer. It hasn't been as daunting as I thought it was going to be. It didn't take as long as I thought it would to get back into work.